Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we are looking at the Marvel Legends Entertainment Earth Guardians of the Galaxy exclusive 5-pack Batista. No, I'm just kidding, of course it's Drax. Using half of the movie figure and half of the Hyperion figure it looks like. Uh, I didn't check for sure. I believe the hips or thighs and belt and area, everything are from the movie figure. It doesn't really matter though because it looks good on this guy. This part definitely is from the movie figure. Again, that's fine though. It's a little odd though, I have to point out. He comes with these movie swords, or knives, and then he also comes with the Warpath knives, which are way better looking and way more comic-y. So either way though, you get four knives, so that can't be bad. And then we have green hands, which are meant for holding the knives, and then we have robot hands, which are meant for not holding the knives because you only get one grippy hand. So I don't know if you like that or not. I don't have an opinion either way. I would kind of wish we could have had knives in both hands, but it's not bad. Uh, and I believe these are from Strife. So those are those hands, I think. And they just pop off, so no big deal. We have a hand and a peg, so they will swivel and bend. These can come off also, so if you really want to, you can remove them and have straight up green limbs, or you can put the bracers on and have those with the green hands like that or you can put the metal hands on and he's got full-on metal hands so it's really up to you that's fine by me I'm okay with that uh, we have seen this head before it looks to me well now that I'm looking at it up close it looks like it might be different I thought originally it was the original Drax head but I uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure it might have a couple more wrinkles it looks the same, although the insides look a little different. I'll have to check. Might not be the exact same, in which case, cool. Doesn't really matter either way since it is Drax, so it's fine. Paintwork on him is mostly good. The reds are fairly solid, other than some scratches and a uh, little bit of mist paint here and there. You can see that green peeking through, but it looks not too bad, so I'm okay with that. The greens are all molded the same, so that's good. Face paint's okay. We have a little bit of red around his eyes. I kind of would have preferred more, but it's not bad. And then we have the silver with kind of like a wash going on for the boots and knee pads. And they even painted the silver here with the red there and a little bit of paint on the belt. So it looks like maybe they're starting to put a little more paint into the figures, and that's always a good thing. The gauntlets, uh, while they don't look that great, they're not bad. Definitely could use a little more sculpt, I think, but because this is all just smooth. But still looks okay. You guys know the articulation on this figure, but we'll run it real quick. Hinge, ball peg, ball hinge, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, wrist swivel and hinge, ab crunch, Waist twist, legs go all the way forward, a little bit back, just a tiny bit, all the way out to the side, so that's a cool thing. Thigh swivel, double jointed knee, that works really well. Knee tucks into the boot, so that's nice. Ankle hinge works going back, going forward, and we get our ankle rocker. So, really solid figure, I'm pleased with it. I think so far this five pack is pretty well done. Uh, can't really complain too much, so there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.